Hey Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. Does mean I'm going to resonate? If it doesn't, check out your placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay. Someone's being very stubborn right now. Very, very stubborn. This is someone who's just not investing into this connection, being stubborn, being closed off, okay? Very rigid, very stubborn person. You can't change this person's mind, okay? You on the other hand here, you're being even more stubborn is what I'm getting here, okay? If this is you on the other side here. You're being even more stubborn. Like I said, you know, when the cards were flipping out, you're doing your best, putting in your your you're 100% to hold back from this person. You're trying to tame the situation here is what I'm getting here while holding back from this person, okay? You've, like, put yourself in a box is what I'm getting here, Taurus, okay? Although, yes, you do have a lot of hope and faith that things may work out one day, but right now, now what's happening here is that earlier, I think you were very impatient with this person out here, okay? Now, you have faith. You have faith in the universe, and uh, you feel that if it's going to work out, it's going to work out. But I feel right now, you're very focused on yourself here, okay? You're putting yourself on a pedestal, okay? And uh, you're very focused on yourself. I feel you could be in the limelight right now, or you could just be very focused on your work, your career, your goals, where you're getting a lot of appreciation, you're stepping it up, okay? You're achieving your goals. But yeah, you're constantly focusing on yourself. And uh, yes, you do have faith in this connection. But again, it's not going to be the utmost importance for you is what I'm getting here, okay? This person out here could have completely isolated themselves, okay and they've isolated themselves out here and i feel this person wants to come back around could be a little confusion from this person's side okay where they just you know have a tendency to keep ghosting you but this person could have tried to completely ghost themselves completely isolate themselves going to be a loner but i think they're they're definitely it's on their mind to get out of that energy okay and get out of the energy and come back to you around or just get out and you know rejoin the world it could be two different things out here okay but this person out here is wanting to come out of that loneliness come out of that isolation mode what they feel out here is that i think this person feels that you're very very disappointed in them okay um let's see what's the five of cups in reverse What's the five of cups in reverse? Right now, you're both, none of you are trying to put in the work right now, is what I'm getting here, okay? You're both taking the wrong route. Both of y'all need to work on this, but the mutual energy we have is the lovers in reverse, which means you guys are just not on the same page, okay? One of you is more emotionally involved than the other out here, is what I'm getting here, okay? What's the five of cups in reverse? Five of cups in reverse. Yeah. This person wants a reconciliation with you. They do. But the problem here is this person is has a lot of negative thoughts. This person constantly wants a reconciliation with you. But they keep thinking either there's something that's blocking this person from coming towards you. Or this person out here has some addictions, obsessions, you know, a bad habit, a negative habit, a negative pattern that they keep repeating and they can't stop thinking about it, okay, which is blocking this person from coming towards you. See how you guys are absolutely different. You both are just not on the same page otherwise also. We just see the star here and see the devil here. That's on your side. This is on their side. So you're, you have faith, you're positive, okay, and you're just moving on with your life, but not in a way where you're forgetting this person. But it's like you're trying to balance your needs here, okay. This person out here, they want a reconciliation, like I said, okay, because they feel like all is not lost. They can still get back together. But with the devil here, they definitely have addictions of some sort okay they do something that this person feels very tied to or something that they, this person feels very restricted okay or they feel very restrained to do okay because of which you guys keep having this um cycle of where you know this person keeps disappointing you i feel you're dealing with someone here you know who's um a they love their freedom b they're non-committal Okay, because see, as the action here, we also, we still see the Hierophant in reverse, which means this person's still wanting to do it their way. Okay, they want to do it their way. They want, they have their own rules, their own belief systems, and uh, doesn't mean that they won't approach you. There are chances they will approach you, but the thing is that even if they do, don't expect any um, huge change from this person if commitment was an issue, okay, for you guys here. 
because we do see the three of swords in reverse here so i feel you are trying to balance your emotions with the action here with the king of cups here could be dealing with an aries also they had this in the exact same position here but i think you are emotionally stuck okay you are coming off as more emotionally uh, involved with this person out here constantly looking at the past here this person out here is someone who makes their own rules okay they don't like to follow the rule book they don't like to follow status quo that's a rebel out here okay with the devil and the hierophant in reverse here oh boy you're dealing with someone very very tough no wonder you gotta be in that energy of the strength here wanting to you really have no choice but to get your courage you know just to muster the courage and hold back from this person because you're like you know what i'm not opening up to this person here you want to ghost me you have your issues here you have negative thoughts you want to follow a negative pattern you want to be non-cameral i'm out Okay. because i feel it started off as very very nice very innocent very naive love you know but the problem here is the moment things started getting serious that's when this person started running away from you okay because this person does not want to handle responsibility okay they don't like responsibility they don't like to handle responsibility they they like to be on their own they like to they they're attention seekers you know stuff like that which is why you realize that you know what it's no point here so now you're balancing yourself he's a star here king of cups you're balancing your emotions putting more focus uh, on something else so yeah um i feel you're going to heal as the outcome out here you're going to heal yourself is what i'm getting here this could be a reconciliation but i think you have a more practical realistic approach this time okay your focus is uh you know not this person out here what's the three of swords in reverse here why is this the outcome let's see What's the three of swords in reverse here? I think if there were any negative thoughts that were affecting you, which was giving you a lot of stress, right? I think that's what you're going to finally overcome here. Whilst this person does what they want to do, I think you're going to get over any kind of negative thoughts that were creating stress and anxiety. Three of swords in reverse, please. What is this? What's the three of swords in reverse? Clarify the three of swords in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're letting go of uh, this person who is just not ready to give you something more than friend zoning or something more than, you know, just, you know, friends with benefits or whatever. See, you're dealing with someone here, like I said, right, who likes to be in the movement, in the moment, and they don't like to commit. They don't like to be in a relationship here. Okay, so I think you're finally healing from a relationship where either this person friends zoned you or this was someone, you know, who was just, uh, you know, when they would chill with you, they'd have a good time with you. You know, you guys would travel, you guys would go out, date, etc. But the moment things get serious here, right? That's when this person keeps breaking your heart. So I think you're saying no more to any kind of heartbreak, any kind of anxiety, any kind of thoughts that and um, disappointing thoughts. Okay, basically this is any kind of um, memories that used to hurt you. Okay, I think you're letting it all go. You're trying to heal. You're getting your shit together, balancing your thoughts, being more focused on your career, your goals. Okay, uh, and um, you're holding back from this person if you're on this side here. This person out here, on the other hand, here, dude, they're a mess. Okay, they're a mess here. You're gonna let go of this third party situation or let go of a person who's just not wanting to be into something and a more significant relationship. Okay, so yeah, that's what I have for you. Hope this video was the needs. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.